All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video might look like it's really, really long, but in fact, you are going to pause this video often to complete the learning because this step is complicated. So with that, you are on step four, which means you have a teacher signature saying that you have completed step three at the meets or exceeds level, and you want to know how to complete step five. So we are going to go to our classroom page. We are going to scroll down. We are going to find the um, folder with all of the slides in it. We are then going to open our teacher's uh, slide presentation. We are going to find our slide number. We're going to put in right now, pause the video, last name, first name, and your student number. Okay, once you have completed that, we are going to jump down to where it says select one work of art that caught your attention and post the image here. Where do we get the art from and how do we do that? Well, we want to share, oops, I don't want to show you that, yeah. We want to share what we're going to see while we are out um, for our field trip. So we're going to type in, activate typing, Des Moines Art Center. Right now, go ahead and pause this video. Boop. And go get the Des Moines Art Center link. Okay, once you have gotten into the Des Moines Art Center, the reason I want you to go to this page is because they actually have, it's called a center because it has a lot of education, not just the museum. If you have not taken time to look at the classes that they offer at the Des Moines Art Center, I highly recommend it. They also have a lot of scholarships available. So if paying for the class is a concern for you, you can apply for scholarships and they grant them to students who show that they have great uh, skill or a great desire but don't have the financial resources to pay for it. So. We are going to jump in, though, to where it says Collections. So go ahead and click on Collections. Now, warning, 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 you are entering an art museum. And art museums have naked people in them because artists use the human form to discover and understand life. And so part of the purpose of our trip is to learn how to be a respectful, responsible, articulate, well sophisticated human being which means we don't react to what we see other than with curiosity and a want for understanding not with childness so knowing that we are jumping into an art museum we are going to scroll on down this image and there are two collections there's one that says collection highlights and one that says sculpture park I'm going to click on collection highlights because it's the harder one to search through, but you will want to look through both. So once you are there, you're going to click on view all works. I recommend hitting pause on me and getting that much done. Okay, once you've done that much, before you start looking at the artwork, you're going to go to where it says filter, and then you're going to scroll on down, and you're going to want to click on view. This is because uh, museums constantly change out the artwork that's on display. You'll notice that they have 310 pieces of art, but only 86 are currently on display. They switch them out often to make coming to the Art Center an enjoyable experience where you're constantly exposed to new ideas and new things. Once you are there, you are going to find an art piece that makes you go, Oh my goodness, what is that about? That makes you really curious, and you are going to click on it. Then you have an important job before moving on. You are going to scroll down. You need to see that the image you selected has an audio file. If it does not, unfortunately, you're going to want to pick a different art piece that makes you curious. Okay, pause this video now and go find yourself an art piece that makes you super curious. Take time, at least five to ten minutes to look through all of the different images to find the one that you are the most curious about. Don't forget to look at both the Sculpture Garden and the Des Moines Art Center. Okay, you found your image that makes you super curious. Now we have to share it with our class. So we are going to take a picture of our screen. Here's how you do that. On your keyboard, right now, 
you will hit sh control and at the same time you're going to hit shift and at the same time you're going to hit this little picture button. So I'm going to do that to mine. Now I am not on a Chromebook so mine looks different from yours but I, I get this little arrowy thingy you'll get something that's kind of similar to it. You're going to click and you're going to drag it until you have selected your artwork. When you let go, mine makes a picture sound, yours might make another sound, it might ask you to save it somewhere, whatever it is, follow that process. Then we need to put that image into our slide. So we're going to go back to our slide. We're going to make sure, before we do anything, click where it says your slide number. Okay, pause, get your picture taken, and then come back to me. Okay, so you have a picture taken. You know that you saved it either on the desktop or if it asks you to save it in your Google, whatever it is. You are then going to go to, I'm going to move me out of the way, and you're clicked on your slide. You're going to go to insert image, and then you're going to choose an image to upload. Or you might do find in Google Slides. Okay, now you're going to know, Miss Russ has a whole bunch of pictures. She takes too many pictures. So, there it is. Ha <laughs> See, I've done this video twice. I screwed up the first time. So, we're going to open it. Loading, loading, loading. Then, it's going to pop up on our slide because we had our slide selected. We're going to shrink it down so it fits in the space. Notice I used the corner to shrink it, not the sides or the tops because that would distort my picture. Okay, once I had my picture here, pause get your picture there, then move on. Okay, you have a picture, and it's on your slide. You are now going to go back to here, and you're going to scroll it on down, scroll it on down, scroll it on down. You're going to go to your audio file. You're going to click on your audio file. you got to scroll back up to see it, and you are going to listen to your audio file. Come back to me once you have listened to your audio file. Okay, you've listened to your whole audio file. Now, you are going to go in and you are going to share with your peers one fact about your artwork that will interest them. Not something boring, like it was, it was made in 1842. Cut. Find something that makes it really interesting so that your peers will want to find out more. And then, why did you choose this artwork? So this is the tricky part, and this is where our rubric comes in. We want to take why you picked your art and what you learned about your art, and we need to not just explain our thoughts and ideas, but we really want, why did this connect to us, which is how we could get to the exceeds category. Go beyond what they told you for your fact and add new ideas and new thoughts. You know, maybe what you thought about this art and what you thought this art was about and what the expert told you were two different things. That doesn't make you wrong. So say what you thought, or maybe they were the same. Why do you think that happened? Once you have completed that, here becomes the fun part. Ta-da! You get to go and find your peers and look for peers who are all done. Okay, completed all three parts. Wait, pause, pause, pause. Go complete, why did you choose to start work, and then come back to me. Okay. Now, so your whole post is done. You are going to pick two peers and you are going to respond to their artwork that they picked. So you're going to click on their image, you're going to get to see their picture, read their fact, why did they choose this, and then you're going to go down here. You are going to type in your number, your last name, your first name, and then you are going to tell them something about the art. Okay, tell them something, one sentence. Then you're going to ask them a question. One sentence. Then you're going to give them your thoughts. Maybe you totally disagreed with them and the expert and the fact. Or maybe you agreed. Why did you do that? But you are going to do those three things. It is one sentence per each or more. And then you are going to find another peer. Make sure that you have your number, your last name, and your first name, and a tell, ask, and give to two separate friends. Okay.
That was a long video, but hopefully you paused a lot often and completed all the learning with me. Bye!